Hello everyone. Welcome to well my my bunker hideaway here in Cogbinder Enterprises. This is where I happen to spawn in this time. Listen, this, this is a uh, phone Tony call Prince. we've been waiting for. I'll cut straight to the chase. I heard you were a savvy investor, shall we say? Yes, I like that. A savvy investor. I'm not such a savvy investor. I was gonna open up a chain of venues, only that's all gone to shit. <laughs> Again. But head over to foreclosures.mazebank.com and buy one out of foreclosure. I can open you the best nightclub in the whole state. Any of them. Seriously. And so you don't think I don't understand, where there's nightclubs, there's cash. And when there's cash, there's money that can be washed. Anyway, think about it. For the love of all that is fine in this world. That's the call I was waiting for. Yep, he generally calls you pretty quick now if you don't have a nightclub, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to add to the Cogminder Incorporated Empire here by heading on over and buying us up a nightclub. Now, when we get this nightclub, let me go ahead and sign up as a CEO. Make sure we get, we're in just a private crew session here. When we get this nightclub, it's going to be bare bones, alrighty? Um, we're talking about I'm probably not even going to put on any, any uh, light work and that kind of stuff on the inside. Because right now, what I want it to be mostly is a passive income. Don't you run over my damn motorcycle. My damn helicopter. Don't you run over it either. Run into my helicopter and damage it with you before I've even gotten into the air. Oh, aggravates the devil out of me. Hey, it's Hello, Paige. Paige Harris. I work with Lester Crest. I don't need to talk to you right now, Paige. I appreciate it, but uh, she's going to tell you, yeah, if you get you a night, if you ever get a nightclub and talk to Tony Prince, we've got some stuff that we can work on. Got to get the nightclub first, and we are going to go take care of that right now. Like I said, nightclub's got some cool missions in it. There's a nice cutscene and a nice. Um, background and set up missions and all that kind of stuff that y'all gonna see here very shortly a lot of fun to do it and that's what i'm doing this for right now is to run through all the 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 setup and the background and the story and all there's some cool faces that you see again like laszlo and of course of course tony here tony big name in gta 4 you know the the whole uh, expansion ballad of gay tony was dedicated entirely to him and and uh, your character, Luis, who was working with him. So, yeah, it's going to be fun to work with him again. But the nightclub that I'm getting it for right now is going to be just for um, the purposes of, of uh, passive income. You know, you can run all your, run all your illegal income production out of the basement of the nightclub. And he'll explain all that as we go along use it to get you know you can run your coke your coke warehouse your meth warehouse your weed grow house your your counterfeit money and gun running factories and all that out of it so yeah looking forward to that so that is what I'm going to do right now we are going to see I know the one I'm going to get is going to be somewhere right around in this area I believe I think it's right over in here here let's see i know that there is like a parking lot right across from it is this it right up here this might be it right up here at the top of this block yeah i'm getting basically the same one that mine fiend owns right now he has a tendency to choose some good locations for his businesses and all yeah i'm thinking it's right around in hey, this uh, area i know we've got that other thing You're Hello, Lester. Yep, this is this is the one I think I'm looking at right here. Yep, this is it. I said underground warehouse. These, this is the the most expensive one, but it's in it's expensive for a reason. It's 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 all about as they say location, 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 people. And I think this is the one. Yeah, 
this is it and as you buy it they're gonna get all sorts of posters up on the on the walls here you see all the for sale signs there you know foreclosure yep this is it softly softly catchy monkey okay so this is where I, we are planning on having the nightclub is in this old uh, building right here okay so I'm gonna do that now we're going to go to maze bank let's pull um, up on the internet here maze bank foreclosures and I'm gonna shut up in just a minute because we are gonna spend some of our precious money we've been grinding and this should be the one we're looking at right here yep that's the one we're standing outside of I believe 1.7 million we're gonna go ahead and buy it I said this is the nightclub style this is the kind of authenticity that's made of nothing but solid concrete actually let's go back because there was something on the something on the the screen where you're buying it wasn't there yep it's hard to find a suitably scuzzy location in West Vinewood this place was actually in pristine condition until we played some drifters to live in it for a couple of months now it has all the character it needs and then some <laughs> a kind of authenticity that made out of nothing but solid concrete that's your nightclub style the other styles like i say it gets more and more expensive as you go and that's the highest that's if you get it all you can always come back just like your other buildings you know the bunker and everything else you can always come back and fancy the place up later i like the prison style myself most of the the nightclubs that i've remember going to back in my 20s and early 30s were all you know the college town bare concrete nightclubs and all so now light rig got some really nice light rigs but we're not going to spend 88,000 or more on the various light shows you can put in once again we'll come back we'll upgrade all this later we're really not running we're really not interested in running the nightclub as a nightclub right now. You do have a name. The only one that you pay for that actually doesn't cost you money is the Omega. I think, uh, I think Mind Fiend runs the Maisonette Los Santos. Um, I think whenever I do, I'm going to have technology whenever I do uh, actually have a nightclub. But we'll go with the base standard Omega Club right now. Dancers, we're not going to have any dancers, but they're cool. We would definitely have them at some point. They're $213,000, though. And we will definitely go with the style one there, with the neon paint and the two girls. But once again, not this go around. And no dry ice either. We're going to hold off on the dry ice for the dance club moments. We're not going to have that. What we do want probably is some storage. This adds up to storage. You can have up to four, up to five floors here in your facility. And how much is a second floor? Adding another floor to it is $395,000. I'm going to hold off on that for right now. As you said before, we can always come back and update it. I want to see how this and the technicians work because you have to buy technicians once you get in there. Uh, it comes with one free technician. And I need up to two more because I've got three. I've got my meth business, I've got the coke business, and I've got my gun running business. So I can assign one of those. I'll probably assign the coke probably to this. So I'm going to need two more, and I'll probably need two more floors as well. So we're looking at another 800000 I know the equipment that you can put in to make it run faster is like a million. And then the techs are about two hundred and fifty each. So you're looking at probably another 600000 for them as well. But we will see. Let's turn all those off for right now. So right now, we've probably got it set up. We're going to buy the Bare Bones nightclub. And they should be going into a cutscene here. So we will see it, y'all, on the other side of that. There's our club. And boom. Congratulations on the purchase of your new nightclub. Let's set us a waypoint. Shouldn't have to go very far. Return. Yep. I think that's our waypoint here, isn't it? That's our new club. Go to your new nightclub. I thought I did. Or is it over on hey, the... Hey, 
Cheris here. You and me should do this. It makes sense. Buy the terabyte truck on Warstock, we turn it into a nerve center, and start taking scores. I've got some Is great ideas. Next one over? I just need someone to execute them. Hey Paige. I thought it was this one. This one I think is the one Mindfiend has. Am I in the next street over? Did he buy the second breakfast one? I think he did. I think I've got a different nightclub here. Well, I thought I was buying the same one, but apparently... There's mine right here. Okay. Well, that's cool. We can make this work, too. Um, where is the entrance to it? That's going to be a good question. Is it around here on the side? I bet it is. Hey, it's Paige again. I see you're in the dance club business. If you want to put the underground garage to some use, we could put a terabyte truck down there and turn it into a nerve center for taking scores. Buy it on Warstock, and I'll do the rest. This could be good for both of us. Okay, let's see. Is this it? Yeah, here we go. All right, here's the, the uh, rear entrance to it anyway. I wonder, where is the actual door that the people come in and out of? Is it around the side or the front? Yep, there it is. So this looks like where the where the guest line is going to be, where the rope is going to be. All right, let's go on in. Here, I thought I was in a totally different place. This is meant to be a live event, people. We need lights. Where's the light man? Brian, give me a fucking spotlight. All right, let's run through this. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness live television entertainment in front of your very eyes. This is Fame or Shame Live with your host, Laszlo. He does that, and then, shit, ow. And then I run on, and everybody claps. And then I go, it's time to introduce the guests. And then, where's my assistant with a list of guests? Hello? If you pull that pregnancy pity party on me one more time, I will lose my cool, okay? Tony, your friend's here. All right, thank God. Brilliant. That's a wrap. Piss off, Laszlo. What? This is a nightclub. This live version of an awful TV show is not happening. No, no, but Tony... Oh, but Tony, please, nothing. We have a new landlord. We're going back to what we do best. Playing loud music, encouraging awful behavior, dancing until dawn, and having personal crises like good... God-fearing idiots! Tony, please, I'm desperate. <laughs> Listen, I love narcissism. I built a career on narcissism. I stare into the mirror and beat off like a real man. I pose, I preen, but there's a limit here. I cannot, I will not sit here and watch it. We need kids, young people, midlife crisis divorcees, whoever's gonna bring the party, and we need them wasted, and we need them dancing! Not taking selfies with some fuckwits! I ran the fucking 1980s. I was the 1990s. And I'm back. Okay. Get me a DJ! But, Tony, I, I, I'm the DJ. <laughs> I'm the, no, you're not a fucking DJ. You're a dick. A, a dick? But, uh, Tony, I got you a bunch of celebs. I'm gay Tony. The gay Tony. I'm the celebrity here. Me and him. But if you want to bring some famous people into the club, we will host them gracefully. Because I am favor and grace, and I am back. I got an investor. We're running shit again. I need a DJ. <laughs> I've been high since 2010. What do these kids need nowadays? I I'm having a breakdown. <sighs> I'm too old. Me too. Yeah. Tony, can we hug? Yeah, yeah. Please. Sure, yeah. You shouted at me a lot. All right, all right, all right. And Tony? Yeah. I don't think you can say gay Tony anymore. It's not PC. The internet will go crazy. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. All right, all right. Find me English Dave. English Dave? He says a DJ to Booker. He's in the book. All right, come on, boss. Let me show you around. All right, listen, big guy. Work your list of famous people. We're opening very soon. Okay, you got it. All right. I am going to fix this place up for you. You can do whatever you want down here. Literally, whatever you want. That's a gorgeous space. Plenty of room. Lots of storage. 
You can set up a hub for your other businesses, maybe. I don't know, I'm just saying. Whatever you need, I know nothing. I mean, I know everything, but, hmm. Make your way through there. You got a computer in there. You can bring another staff down here, your whole entourage, whatever you need. You sure know how to set that up. And upstairs, upstairs is another office with a computer on the same network. You can run the club businesses out of that. And the interior team ready to move in. Ho oh, ho. And the name, Omega. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go. Amigo! Hey. Que pasa? Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. That is my new investor, English Dave. Ah, uh, safe. Skin. Respect. So how you been, Tone? Long time, no power. Uh, how is a kite, Dave, and curse and fate. And you? Oh, never better, old son. Never better. Born love. Nice bag? Ah, oh, no, thanks. Ah, suit yourself. <laughs> What can I do you for? We're reopening as a nightclub. Ha <laughs> ha! A proper, underground, dance music paradise. And what kind of crowd do you want in this, uh, paradise? Uh, don't be judgmental, Dave. We're gonna make this place amazing. I need people, you know, who know music. Club music. What you need, old son, is a European. <clears throat> Someone with savoir faire. Someone who can bring in the business. Let me see. <clears throat> no, not him. Not, uh, to open this dump, bring in a good crowd, Solomon. It's the proper shit. Great music, great crowd, and no cheese. Mmm, how much? Let me see what I can do. Daniel, his manager, owes me a favor. I've got a few other DJ ideas as well. One love. One love. Well, you've got to get to work. I'll stay here and oversee the improvements. You get us a staff and a sound system. Do you know a ritual sacrifice festival out in the desert? Gotta borrow some things from their socialist utopia. And staff, I've arranged to poach a few. It's all on the office computer. All right, folks, fun times. So, yep, yeah, that's this is our the base bones of our operation here. We are going to go ahead up to the office and start setting up the nightclub, log in, get everything going. All this stuff is going to be cleaned up a hell of a lot. All these crushed cans, the dirt, the trash bags and all that. You won't recognize this place whenever uh, we get around to running it. But let's go on upstairs to where the actual business is handled. As, uh, Tony here. Hey, partner. This is going to be our main Hi, bar. It's a fantastic. Back over this way. Good to see you in here. What's last I listening to? You? I don't know. It's just the eye fruit on his phone there. Uh, you need anything? Uh, you, you know where to find me? Hey, yes, we do, Laz. Yes, we do. <laughs> And own up into the VIP suite and the offices. See, a little bit higher brow. This is the private office. He's already started renovating it. He shares it with you. His desk over there is right behind yours. Here's the VIP lounge with all the, the private bar. And this is the elevator down to the workspace, the warehouse down below. Here is our desk. Rather spare, rather utilitarian, much like the, the nightclub downstairs is. Tony, being the maven of style and culture that he is, has gone ahead and started upgrading his a little bit. As you see, he's got a old poster of the Maisonette, got a flower on his desk, and as you see right there, a photograph of Luis, your character in The Ballad of Gay Tony. Oh, so sweet, so sweet, so nice. Wonderful stuff. All right. So I am going to get a cup of coffee, and then we are going to see if we can't get the uh, nightclub stuff going. So I will see y'all whenever I get started working on the missions for that. I think those will be in the next episode. It's been about 20 minutes. So uh, this will be probably a two-parter, one with us buying it and going through the cutscenes for that. And the next one will be us uh, running the setup missions, getting the staff, getting the sound equipment, or stealing the sound equipment, and then going and picking up Solomon from the airport. So we will see y'all next time.